Hey guys, welcome back to the Ticket Webcast. We're coming to you a little early this week because Thursday is the 4th of July. Um, lots of big events happening in Nashville over the weekend. Um, but because uh, 4th of July is falling on a Thursday, lots of people making a extended vacation, extended weekend out of, out of that opportunity. So because of that, um, quite a few people are getting back together with their families and, and coming to see families perhaps in Nashville. And as luck would have it, Jen Todd knows that there are a ton of family-oriented events happening in the next week. So, a Jen, a lot of them, yeah. And it's featured in the, this week's uh, ticket. On Friday's paper, you mm-hmm. can find out the full list of family events that's going on this weekend and all the way through next Thursday. Um, but I'm going to give you a couple of highlights right now, mm-hmm. just so you can know what to look forward to on Friday night. You guys can go to Nashville Shores and swim around and go down the slides and everything, and then stay late for an outdoor movie. They're showing uh, The Amazing Spider-Man, and they have lawn chairs there and a big screen, so that's super fun. That's at 8.30, um, and it is included in admission. The dive-in movie. Yes. The See what they did there? Movie. Clever name. Yep, yep, very good. <laughs> Hats off to you, Nashville Shores. <laughs> and then you probably remember the Puppet Fest story mm-hmm. and Peter Cooper's uh, story on the String City event that happened at Country Music Hall of Fame. Well, they're showing the show for free at the public library this weekend um, on Saturday, or on Friday and Saturday, excuse me, at 10 and 11.30. And you can see puppet versions of Hank Williams and Taylor Swift and Johnny Cash, as well as shadow puppets and rod puppets and hand puppets. And it should be a pretty cool show for free, which is the best part. Mm -hmm. Uh, Then another thing, if you like outdoors and stuff, you can go uh, to Owl's Hill. uh, That's the nature sanctuary. And they're having a couple of events on Saturday. Um, In the morning, you can go down the trail and learn what you what berries and plants you can eat that is safe to eat and what good to is know safe to uh, what you can actually use for medicine and to heal you so that's pretty cool if you ever lost in the woods and that night you can stay and have a picnic and um, watch a nature show and it's just a beautiful place it's a really cool event to so go to the weather's been nice and cool lately hopefully the rain holds off yeah. and that'll be a, a good thing yeah, to do for sure it's a clear sky so you can see some stars and stuff like Absolutely. And uh, another thing you can look forward to is on Thursday, it's Family Life at Cheekwood. And this week they're showing Mr. Greg's Musical Madness. And he plays upbeat, kid-friendly, family-friendly songs that everybody can dance to and sing along to. Um, that's at 6.30 on Thursday at Cheekwood. And you can even stay late to see Bruce Monroe's Lights exhibit, which is... I've heard is pretty cool. There are lights all over the park, all over the gardens. As he's been yeah, I've heard great things. I haven't yeah. uh, gotten a chance to see it yet, but currently making plans to do that really soon. Definitely. I've seen some like Vine videos, and I'm not sure they yeah. those quite do it justice, <laughs> but they look cool too. <coughs> awesome. Anything else? Uh, well, you'll have to read Friday oh. to see it. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, you got to pick that up on Friday. But you know, uh, maybe at some point uh, over the course of the long weekend, you might get hungry. And what better to eat, unless you're very sensitive to spicy foods, is uh, th- than hot chicken. Um, and, and the 2013 Music City Hot Chicken Festival is returning to, uh, to East Park in East Nashville. It's at 700 Woodland Street. We've got, um, in, in case you don't know, and you should probably know if you spend any time in Nashville at this point, it, 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 hot chicken especially recently has been embraced as a, a native uh, uh, food of, of, of Nashville. Um, basically fried chicken with a whole lot of heat on it. And you can choose your level of spice yeah. but they'll have some mild stuff there too yeah but and, and i would stick to like a mild if you can find one even a medium if you're not ready for it it, it, it could take it, it could like pack a punch um and you can quench your thirst with some beer oh there you go the yazoo beer garden perfect perfect <laughs> so so uh, all all of your favorites of, of nashville uh, hot chicken establishments are going to be there prince's hot chicken shack arguably the most famous hot chicken establishment in nashville hattie b's Bolton's, 400 Degrees, Pepper Fire, and that's just the top of the list. Yeah. There's, there's uh, another dozen or so uh, people, uh, vendors that will be showing off their hot chicken, and you can pick that up. But then there's a competition as well. Have you heard anything about this? Um, <laughs> I just know that there is a competition. Oh. Not <laughs> well, there, there's basically there's, there's, 
uh, among the, the, the teams who are putting together their own hot chicken for, for, for a, a competition to see who has the best hot chicken, there are uh, six teams we've highlighted um, in a, an upcoming story, including uh, teams with names like Great Birds of Fire, A Bomb's Chicken, Team Savannah, Hicks Factor, the Atomic Yardbirds, and Crazy Mike's Hot Chicken. I'd be I'd be careful on Crazy Mike's Hot yeah. Chicken. That doesn't sound uh, too mild. You but can also uh, see a video of the Atomic Yard bar- Yardbirds on the website today. Yeah. To go along with our story today, That's the right. Jennifer Justice rep. Yeah, it's really it's really cool. It's on Tennessean.com right now. You should be able to find it right there on the front page. Uh, so that happens anyway. Uh, Thursday, July fourth, eleven a.m. to three p.m. East East Park, seven hundred Woodland Street in East Nashville. So read more about that online also on thursday we talked a bit about this last week uh but the let freedom sings uh, music city um july 4th celebration is happening at riverfront park um actually over two days thursday and friday thursday you've got um headlining performance from the band perry um recent uh guy who moved to nashville keb mo a, a award-winning blues artist and um a bunch of other st- uh, uh, other acts, including uh, people that were part of the um, Nashville Dance in this week, which is continuing at Riverfront Park, and then on Friday, I believe it continues with um, with uh, the Henningsons, and I wish I could. I, I usually am so it's good 10 about out of 10 it. Is ten out of ten? Right? Yes, yeah. ten out of ten is also playing mm-hmm. on Friday, and I hear there's a happy hour if you get there early. Maybe oh. maybe a two for one beer, something like that. Yeah. Don't quote me on that, but look I into that. It. So that's also happening on Thursday. Tons of stuff happening in the next week. You can see that all in uh, Friday's ticket section. Um, But we're just going to stay here and get ready for it. And thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next week.